One of our uh, daytime television's best loved presenters has returned to our screens with her antiques quiz show for what it's worth. Yes, and as well as that, Fern Britton is also releasing her sixth novel. Sixth novel. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's the story of a television producer who struggles to balance work <laughs> and motherhood. <laughs> yes. I'm, not, I'm not making that up. That, no, no. You, you have made it up with a novel, but is it based on your experience? Well, it's something I know about. So, you know, you, you write about stuff, you know. And this poor woman, she's had everything going well for her. She's got a good, great program she's produced. It's top of the ratings. She's married the man she loves, a vicar. She's in her 40s, but they've had a baby. And then everything starts to implode. So it's how one woman copes with postnatal depression, oh. disintegrating relationship. A program is pulled from the ratings. Mm. Then her mother dies, and then uh, her estranged sister comes back, and then life is a bit tense. But it's how one person pulls out of it. You've mm. been through a lot of not exactly the same, but a lot of tough stuff that yeah. you've been very open about. Mm. What have you learned about resilience and about how you bounce back from mm. adversity, personally or professionally? It'll pass, for a start. Mm. It will pass. Storms teach you a lot of things about yourself and others. And um, that really life is, is worth living, even in those moments when you think it isn't. It actually is. And mm. if you can keep laughing and have the love of a good man and fantastic kids, you're on it. You met your husband of course on a television program yes really said he cooked that was lucky wasn't it he was the only one who wasn't married i didn't know that <laughs> i didn't know that and then somebody said to me phil vickery fancies you and i went which one is he oh, oh. Hmm. and then one night i took him home oh and that was that he's he, never been allowed keep going i kidnapped him well i put all his clothes in the washing machine so he had to stay <laughs> <laughs> now of all the great things you achieved in television was working with me for a week on this morning the highlight it was a big highlight yes <laughs> It was. I mean, you know, I've so never liked you, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you used to like me, and now you don't. But anyway, it's I do. No, I do like you. We had, we had a little spat, but I think. No, you had a spat. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> let's not. <laughs> can we not get into the settling scores on the no, second part of it? I tell you what. I, I tell you, oh, I tell you what I do. What I do. Yes. I want to feel your thighs on national television. Of course television. you may. Thank you. I just have to brace. Hang on. Because that is absolutely amazing. Yes, you, good, you've it? been cycling like. Thousands of miles for charity. <laughs> yes. John grows to lands and so on. And you're like a, an iron woman. Now. Thank you. Hey, I'm just getting stronger, which mm. is really also very good for your emotional well-being. Mm. And I cycle a lot for a charity called Genesis Research Trust, which is Robert Winston's charity. Yeah, yeah, great charity. We do everything for mothers and babies. And mm. um, yeah, so to cycle from John O'Groats to Land's End last year was brilliant. Mm. We did it in 19 days. The big boys do it in like seven days. But we thought, no, we're a group of women and we want to stop and have a cup of tea and a cup of coffee and take photographs. And it was wonderful. Just come back from the Highlands. We did 372 miles in six days. The Highlands are called the Highlands for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we're going to Burma in November. Wow. Do, do you, yeah. When you come back onto a show like this, and you did it for so long, you were the queen of daytime television. I wasn't at the time. Seems to be subsequently I am. But well, you become the, the national treasure status later, don't you? Yeah, yeah, much later. Right. But mm. do you miss it? Do you hanker for that kind of thing I again? I don't. I loved it. Mm. I do miss the current affairs issue mm. you know to be like you were talking mm. earlier to Robert Peston mm. about last night's debate I'd have loved to have been in a, amongst that mm. you know but um, that's not a bad thing to miss that's that's it I've had mm. a very wonderful time and a lucky time and in television years I'm about 432 now. <laughs> so, you know, I'm doing all right. 60 next year. You actually, you look fabulous. What? Yeah, thank you. I hope that isn't patronising to say it, but you do. No, no, actually a bit more is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing. Well, and thank you. Do you know what, Fan? There's not many women who would answer yes when peers ask, can I feel your thighs on national television? So, <laughs> just for that moment alone, thank you very much indeed. And if you ever do want to come back onto a mm. sofa, there is a space here that I will I think get the old band back together now we've kissed and made <laughs> up. No, no, I, want, yeah. I want to present. There might be a vacancy Susanna and I for, can a, for work a hot very woman. Very well together. Yes, we could work very yes, well we together. Could. We don't need any <laughs> testosterone. There will be no spats.